Riding in a bunch or group is one of the real pleasures of cycling. It allows you to go faster with less effort. However, if you don't use the right technique and etiquette, it will not only make things harder for yourself, but also for those around you. Here are a few of my own personal tips to keep you safe. If it's your first time going out in a group or bunch, then start by riding at the back and take a look at how the other more experienced riders do it. Also, don't be afraid to listen and take on board any advice from these riders, even if they're not as strong as you. Try not to make any sudden movements left or right without first checking that you've got the space to do so. And even if there is space there, just give an indication that you're about to move to warn those around you. Sudden braking should be an absolute last resort when you're riding in the bunch. And you should always ride with your hands either on the hoods or the drops so that you have got access to dab your brakes if you need to. If you, however, get the impression that somebody next to you is about to make a sudden movement to the left or right, then just give them a quick vocal warning that you're there. Bear in mind that when you get out of the saddle, your bike tends to fall backwards slightly, which is no good if there's a rider right on your wheel. So if you do want to get out of the saddle, I would try and keep the momentum going by pedalling, or if you can't do that, just warn the riders behind that you're about to do it. Riders in the middle of the bunch will have far less visibility than you do when you're on the front. So if there's anything dangerous coming up, give them either a vocal warning or a hand signal. This can include anything from potholes to oil to ice to speed bumps, and in particular if you're on a narrow road, cars coming in the other direction. Don't make the mistake of just looking at the wheel in front of you. Try to look further ahead. This will give you an idea of which direction the road is going and also which way the bunch is swaying. Spitting or clearing your nose is acceptable, but make sure you do it in the right place. If you start doing that in the middle of the bunch, you're not going to win many friends. If you do need to do it, then just go to the back or right over to the side, away from everybody else. Bear in mind that if you don't know all of the people that you're riding with, there may also be other inexperienced riders. You can't control what they do, so always give yourself enough room so that you don't crash. Also, make sure you always look ahead. The pros adopt a third position, almost a tuck position, when balancing the top tube. Move your weight over the rear wheel slightly when braking hard to prevent the rear wheel locking up and to make sure you don't go head first over the bars. Look ahead. As you're approaching a corner, look past the corner.